walk and talk it so that the Lord can work. We want to go to the Lord in prayer tonight. We finished the book of James. We're going to have to decide which book we're going to. Let me remind you that in the next Wednesday night we won't have a Bible study because everybody will be spread out too thin and uh, uh, we just won't, won't be here that Wednesday. I hate to do that, but uh, we're going to have strung out working all through the week. So uh, I, I'm going to kind of go light on the fasting next week. You can fast if you want to. How many of you enjoy the fasting? I don't mean enjoy it pleasure, I mean the effect of the fasting. I, I've enjoyed that. The Lord has really used that. I had some temptation today to eat and I I succumbed to it. <laughs> but uh, I believe in fasting. I believe that God is working through our fasting. And I, I want us to continue to do that. But next week during festival week, we, we won't ask you to do that because you're going to be sitting in the middle of all that good food, it might be a temptation to, to break the fast and, and those things. But we want to be in prayer. Uh, don't forget, we need you here Sunday morning. We need a strong showing on Sunday morning. And then Sunday afternoon, we're going to sing and praise the Lord up at the Bridge Festival and try to reach some folks with the gospel. So we need you there as well. We need you to pray over those of us that are going to work and stay up there and all those things. We need strength. Uh, we might start praying for Pastor Bob now because he's already got worn out. We've been buried on him bad. Yeah. But, uh, pray and ask the Lord to give us strength. Other prayer requests. Pray for Karen's mom. Can you lift her up? We're going to bathe in darkness. Garland? Lindsay and I were fasting and praying this past week about a particular need of hers, and God answered it over the weekend, and now Satan's trying to take it back. So I need some help. All right, we're going to call. Hear them sirens coming. Yeah. Call on the prayer people. Apparently, Caden uh, got hurt at football practice tonight. His hand got pinned between a couple of moments. At least a couple of fingers broken. Maybe his hand. He's a good one. So let's pray for a little kid. Bless his heart. He likes that for a while. Yeah, like pray for Jason. Yes, yeah, so let's lift Jason up. Come on to a snag. This is where we look at this last chapter of James and we begin to apply it. Yeah. James. James. Yeah, James is on his way back. He'll be on his way back and out a lot. But we're going to keep praying for him. Um, so Dallas, he's having problems with people on the bus. Other right. kids. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. We'll pray up. Cover it over that little man. I mean, you know God cares about little Dallas on the bus. Lois, yes, we have surgery tomorrow. And we're going to lift her up. I believe God to touch her because she got fish to trim before what I heard. Cut the hospital. Two boxes tomorrow, so we got to trim them. Poor old Lois is sitting over there and said, I figured it out. While you're in the hospital, you can trim fish and we'll come get you. <laughs> Poor Lois, I feel, I, I'm sorry, Lois.
God, you are righteous, you are holy. And we know how to ask you and believe that you're going to work in our behalf. Lord, I pray for little Dallas right now, Lord, that there are kids who are giving them a hard time. Lord, I pray that you give them wisdom and doubts to know what they're saying not to say to make it worse. But God, I pray you pray a, you, you put a hedge of protection over that little man so that he can grow and enjoy school and, and learn and enjoy the experience of being in school. Lord, I ask you right now for this fellowship as we prepare to go up to the French Festival and work represent the church and the kingdom. Lord, I pray for strength for all of our workers, especially Dad and God in the time that he's been working and putting in and Pappy and Lois. God, I thank you and Mike and, and Teresa and everybody that's worked. God, I ask you right now just to give them strength. Keep them strong. Lord, I pray for Lois right now that as we go to this surgery tomorrow, that the doctors would be right on task. They would be spot on in their work. That the healing would be quick and recovery strong. And there would be no evidence of anything when this is done except that God has intervened in the work of ministry has been done in her body. God, I thank you for this body of believers. I thank you for this group of people. And I ask you to just minister to them right now. I pray for Katie. This little hand, Lord. He's had a, a, a contact sport, playing, having a good time. And he broke his fingers. Lord, I ask you to heal those fingers. Make him tougher than pine knot. Give him the joy of the Lord in his walk. And I ask you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.